$12,500 is invested at 4.8% per annum with the interest compounded monthly. Ooh. Now, I'll be very careful about this monthly business right now. Okay. Compounded. Now, it just tells me compounded. That means I have to use compound interest formula, not simple interest formula. Monthly. The problem we have here, the interest rate is in a per annum. So they're different. Okay. So I, I'm need to be very, very careful about this. I've got P as my 12,500. My R is a 4.8. And the N is two years. Okay, so I've got some information and I need to work on something before I can jump into the formula. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's collect all the information I have, 12,500. And R is 4.8, so 0 0.048 per annum, but it's got monthly here. I need to change this R into month, per month. So this is a per year, so I need to change into each month. So I need to do 0 0.048 divided by 12. Change two years into months, so 12. 24 months. That's per month. Question says find final value. That's one thing. And then total interest. You have to find. Got the two things here. Okay. So first, I need to find my final amount, which is capital A, because it's a compounded monthly. So I need to use a compound interest formula. So that was. P and 1 plus R to N. And also second, total interest is the total amount final, take away the principal. Okay, so A equal, what's my P? 12,500, 1 plus. Now this, you can calculate it or you can just put it in as of what it is. So if you put that in your calculator, you'll get 0 0.004. Or you can just put it all as a fraction, doesn't really matter. And then the power of 24, you will get 13,756.8537 dot, dot, dot. I will get 13,756.8537. I need to find how much extra did I earn? The interest equals the total amount, $13,756.85. Take away how much did I start with? $12,500. You'll get $1,256.85. That's my interest. Next one. What present value must be invested at 4.5% per annum for eight years so that it grows to 10,000? It's like uh, I want to get $10,000 in eight years. What do I have to have? How much do I have to have now? Or how much do I invest now? Future value, we do know what future value is. So let's put it in. Future value, I want to have ten thousand dollars and present value i don't know and my r is 4.5 so 0 0.045 and n is eight i don't have to worry about too much about the units because it's in the years and per annum so it's all good before we do this remember we want it to be simple and quick so we need to make PV, the present value, the subject. PV and 1 plus R to the power of N on my left. On my left. And then FB. Because I want the PV equal something. So to do that, I will divide by 1 plus R N on both sides. Like that. Okay, I'm dividing. Cancel, cancel. PV 
equals future value over 1 plus R N. Okay, so now PV equals FV like that. So PV. Okay, uh, Dimitra, put it all in for me, please. 10,000 on the top. Yeah. 10,000. And then. 1 plus R, it says. 0 0.045. 0 0.045 to the power of? Um, 8. Okay. You got calculator? Calculator for me. Okay. And everybody calculate. 7031. Yeah. 0.85127. Dot, dot, dot. And what will be the answer? 7031.85. Okay. I would say 86, round it up. Why? Because you want to earn 10,000 after eight years, don't you? Yeah. So by putting 85, you're ignoring extra bits, right? We really need to count that extra bits if you want to get $10,000 after eight years, don't you, Dimitra? Yeah, you do. So, so that's why for your present value, your starting of the investment money, you should rounding up, making it a bit higher. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Example 10. Okay, now we've been using formulas. But there is a way you can do this because some people don't know how to calculate this. And in 10 years' time, if you are sitting in front of like with the bank manager, you're not going to remember all this formula and calculate it. So what they've done is they've already done it for you. All you have to do is read the table. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So part A. Uh, use, use the table, obviously, below to calculate the final balance. When 2000 is invested at 8% per annum, compounded annually for six years. That's not a, that's a good one, actually, because already I'm relaxed because it's a per year at six years. Yeah, that's not bad. Part B. The final balance when 14000 is invested for seven months, 2% per month. That's okay too because they're both the same. Like seven months, 2% per month, okay? We need to be really a um, bit more cautious when the R and N are in a different units. Part C. The compound interest, we want to know what compound interest is, when 9,600 is invested at 10% per annum for six years. So far, so good. Compounded half yearly. Oh, now you need to uh, be cautious about it. Now. All these, the amount in the table are money. All the interest you're going to get. So let's have a look. So. That's my little dog, Jack, to help you out this afternoon. The final balance, which is the A, isn't it? Final balance, when P equals 2,000 and R is 8% and N is six years. Okay, so all you need to do, I know you're really dying to use calculator, but it's done for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. Okay, first, 8% right now. And six years. I'm looking at six years. So go. All right. There you go. Thank you, Jack. What a good dog. There you go. That's how much you're going to get, the interest. What I'm going to do, A equals... Each dollar, this is how much interest you're going to get, $2,000. So obviously, you're going to times it by 1.5869. I will get $3,173.80. So six years, you will get $3,173.80. Second one, final balance again. Okay, 
so we want A. And P is 14,007 months is the N. And the R is 2% per month. You might think, oh, miss, there's no months in this here. Don't worry, because that's why in here, if you look at all the percentage on here and all the periods here, it doesn't say one year, one day, or one month, or even 2% is whether it's per year or per month for every half year. It doesn't say that because as long as you get the same unit for the N and R, this table is all good to use. It's a 2% and seven months. That's how much we're going to get interest for each dollar you have. So therefore, my final amount after seven months with a 2% interest rate per month, I will get 14,000. If I put a 14,000 in, I will get $16,081.80. Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? But you had to start with a 14,000. That's why it's pretty big. Okay, last one. Now, this time we are not looking for final uh, value. It's the compound interest. Basically, we need to find the total amount takeaway P. So the P is 9,600 and R is 10% per annum and is three years. Now, problem here is half yearly. So we need to convert this 10% into how many, like half year. So we got 10% divided by two, wouldn't you? It would be 5% per half year. And then how many half years in the three years? You just double it, don't you? Because there's a two six months in a 12 months. So each year you'll get two half years. So six. Now we got 5% six. I can go and have a look at the table. 5% and six. That's how much you're going to get. So therefore, my A is 9,600 times. So each a dollar, you will get 1.3401 interest in that. You will get $12,864.96. Okay, that's just total amount you're going to get. But I want to know what is my interest. $12,864.96. Take away my initial principal was 9600 my interest after three years, I will get $3,264.96. That's pretty good interest because it's a 10% per year. I'm telling you now, you're not going to get 10% ever from the bank. Anyway, that's not the point. So that's what you're going to get. Wow, that was a pretty complicated question you've done. Well done, people. That's all for today's lesson. See ya. Bye.